try again. Unfortunately, I let the blue smoke out of my brand new board. Uh, and once I let the smoke out of this one, I tested the second board and that also started smoking. And it turns out that uh, my uh, USB to UART bridge, uh, I had to choose another component than I've been using before. Uh, previously I've been using the CP2103 and uh, it's really easy to hook up. Uh, for some reason I couldn't get that so I switched to the CP2102 and uh, it turns out that the VBUS pin, if you connect the USB VBUS to the VBUS pin on the chip, the chip will start smoking and self-destruct. So I had to spin a new board. Uh, it's almost identical to the old one, except for a small resistor ladder where I tap the VBUS uh, from the center point of the ladder. And uh, that, that works okay. One of the boards is hooked up to my little hexapod. You can see it in the center here. Um, I have six connection points to the servos and that's just for convenience. I could have gotten away with one, but six makes it easier to kind of detach one leg at a time and do testing. Uh, the firmware that's running on this is really, really simple. It's a UDP server that listens for packets from the simulator. Uh, and the packet just contains the set of angles for the current state of the robot. So it decodes the packet and just sends the information to the Dynamics driver and just loops. So there's no logic on this, all logic is on the simulator. Uh, yeah, it has 18 servos, um, controller on top, on the bottom there's a battery pack for uh, 5 AA cells. I'm not currently using that while I'm testing, I'm using my benchtop power supply. Uh, it's still early days, um, but it works. Um, let me show you. So what we can see on the screen here now is uh, the virtual representation of uh, this hexapod. Um, simulator is doing all the calculations and uh, for each step it will send the UDP packet to the UDP server running on this. And this will decode the packets and send the information to the servos. We can see if we can make it move. I'll define a stride for the robot. So I say stride angle 50. And now we can see on the simulator that it has defined the path for the legs. And we can start it. That's running pretty slow, so we can try and speed it up. Speed 10. Now it's running pretty fast. Um, let's power up the power supply and switch on the power and now all the servos have power and what I'll do next is uh, issue a command to the simulator I'll say open a connection to this is called npod on port 1337 and I press enter Nothing happens because I forgot to switch it on. I'll try again. Okay, now the board has power. Start again. Start it up again. And we open a connection. So, okay, it's a bit rough, I know, but I have punched through it and it's working. So, I'll try and stop it. Uh, 
I can try a different stride, see if we can get that to work. Okay, I'll see if I can try and make it move in a given a certain direction instead of spinning around. So we'll define a vector for it. Vector 15, 0. Start to speed. It's at least trying. <laughs> it's not succeeding, but it's trying. Maybe the tabletop is a bit too slippery for it. So. Tied up. I on. Stop. Oh. Wireless for the win, eh? And then we can try uh, different gates. Let's try ripple gate. Now it should uh, only move two legs at a time. And we can try wave gates. So now it's only moving one leg at a time. So it still rotates, but it's doing it really slowly. Tripod gets. And that's the ripple gate. can see it in really slow motion. We can try and speed it up. So let's uh, off speed. Full speed. And we put it to sleep. As you can see, it's uh, not exactly perfect. It's a bit choppy. Uh, but today was the first uh, time I could actually make it move. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, the simulator concept seems to be working. But I'm thinking maybe I should send uh, a bit more complex commands to the robot. So um, I could send it the set of angles that it should cycle through, for example, for one step. And then let the controller just cycle through those commands uh, until I send it a new command. That should make it a bit less choppy. You could see that it paused for a maybe a fraction of a second from time to time. And uh, everything is now running at constant speed. There is no acceleration or deceleration. Um, 
other things. Yeah, I think uh, the tabletop is a bit slippy for it. Uh, so maybe I print some uh, TPU or uh, something, add something a bit more sticky to the to the end of the end of the legs. Yeah, so I'll just keep working until I'm satisfied and then open source the whole thing. Uh, just hope my code doesn't look too messy. Um, if you have any suggestions, uh, drop me a comment. Um, so, until next time.